Welcome back to Handmade. My name is Bo. You may have seen me in a few other videos making an appearance from behind the camera. But today, I brought my real fiance into the studio. I'm Charity. I am an event stylist and gosh, I don't know how he snagged me, but we are getting married in the fall. So, of course I wanted to do my own DIY projects, but profess DIY projects. So, today we are going to be making a copper arbor. He's a little better at math, so I'm going to let him sketch it out. By like a small margin. <laughs> Look. We can get it done though. It'll be okay. It'll be alright. Bo, what's step one? Funny you should ask. You're gonna need to sketch out your design. So our arbor is gonna be about seven and a half feet tall, five feet wide, and about two feet in depth. I wanna be able to put flowers on this for the wedding, so the crossbars are gonna make this so much simpler. Also, I want to incorporate this into my garden after the wedding, so I think it gives it more the traditional trellis look as well. You can make your own design as simple or as complicated as you want, but here's what you'll need for this design. <laughs> Never cut copper pipe before? This guy's gonna teach you. So all you need is this handy little pipe cutter you can find at any hardware store. Clamp it onto your pipe where it needs to be cut, tighten as much as possible, and spin around the pipe. Once you've made a good groove there, tighten a little bit more, and repeat the process until the whole pipe is cut. So we're gonna assemble the two sides on the floor. Trust us, it's so much easier that way. After we get both sides built, we'll stand them up and then add the crossbar. Let's get to building. We got these bad boys glued together so they're nice and sturdy. But we're not going to glue the crossbars so that we can transport this thing flat and save a lot more space. So this is really where teamwork comes in because I'm going to hold both of these in place and she's going to hop up on the ladder and assemble the crossbars. On the wedding day, you will actually want to assemble this on site. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to go ahead and assemble it now. I decided not to glue my elbows to my crossbars because when I get on site, I want to be able to maneuver the actual arch. So. You will use your 90 degree elbows to attach your crossbars. So I just have one thing left. Um, I want to show you a few quick tips on how to flower this thing out. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous and it's just using grocery store flowers. And I want to get back behind the camera. <laughs> This may sound crazy, but you could make a gorgeous arbor with chicken wire, flowers from your grocery store, and some forage grains. Here's how you do it. So you're going to start with your chicken wire, and you're actually going to wrap it and mold it around your crossbar, and then you really just want to think asymmetrical about your design. I usually start in my top right or left hand corner, depends on how you're looking at it, and then go to diagonal, and that will hit roughly at this first crossbar. Then all you do is fill in with your flowers and greenery. Had a blast building the arch with you guys. I just love how sleek and modern it's gonna be at our wedding. I mean, when a wedding planner plans their own wedding, you kinda of have to go all out. Is anyone out there getting married? What projects are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below. Give us a like and subscribe. Oh, Bo, come say bye. Y'all, isn't he just the cutest? I'm, I'm marrying up. I really am. <laughs> bye, we'll <see> guys. <laughs>